Let me see here. The next one is Isso, no experience. Somebody said, hi, Bruce. My name is Doris. I have been looking for a job in Isso with no experience. What should I do to get a job as an Isso? I would like to speak to you on the phone. I get a lot of calls like this. I'll get a lot of contacts and emails like this. And I'm just going to be completely honest about this. So information system security officer work is not an entry level position, right? That said, they're expecting you to have experience, not necessarily super technical experience, but they're expecting you to have some sort of security compliance experience, right? What does that mean? Like, how can you get compliance experience? If they expect you to have it, how can I get experience to get in the job when they won't hire me to get the experience to get the job, right? How do I do that? That's the question. So there's a couple ways, right? The way I can explain you my way that I've done it, that I did it, was I was in the military. In the military, they train you from scratch, from nothing. And from the ground up, they train you. And then I got experience because they trained me from scratch. And then they put me in the role. Actually, they literally put me in the role with no experience and then said, do it. Well, I was like, well, what do I do? Like, read this, read this, read this, read this. I was self-taught. I just read the material and it taught me how to do what was called an SSAA, which was a system security authorization agreement at the time. Now it's called the system security plan, right? I just, I was thrown in the position and had to just learn it on my own. And then, you know, I, they would teach me ComSec and information security. And I had this other training, but actual doing the ISO work, I had to learn that on my own. But they put me in the position, which gave me like two, three years of experience from the military. And then when I got out, I continued to use that experience. Now, while I was in there, while I was in ISO, I actually got certifications. I got a degree. I got all that stuff while I was in the position. That's how I did it. That's one way military. I went to like two or three combat zones. I don't recommend that. It was a really hard road. Not the smartest thing I've ever done in my life, by the way, risking my life to learn this. But hey, there you go. <laughs> Other ways that you could do this that I've seen other people do this without going up to a war in a minefield infested war zone <laughs> is to go into like the help desk, like go into a entry level type position. And that would be things like a field technician or like a there's plenty of IT positions that are entry level positions that you can use to develop as an IT professional. And then from there, once you have a common body of knowledge built up, you can then become an information system security officer. That's one way you can do it. Now, another one that we talked about on this, if you're late to this, one thing that we've been talking about is really good security certification that I just found out about that might be good to do is a certified information system security officer. Now, just getting this alone, this certification is not going to get you in the door, but it's going to get you the knowledge that you need. Now, this is not cheap. This is a $3,000, this is a $3,000, five day, $3,000 course in the classroom, all, uh, $1,500 if you're doing a uh, self-study. But the objectives are really cool because it's teaching you the basics of risk management. And then it's going through all of the different security best practices that you need to know. That being said, this does not give you experience, right? A certification does not equal experience. I can tell you right now. But as far as experience itself, get your foot in the door by doing entry level IT first is what I would recommend. I got a couple people mentioning some things here. They said that's related to what we're talking about. Okay. Wayne says, I would also add that creating a system in a lab environment is huge too, because you can get a load of resources free, such as SCAP scanners, STIGs, a STIG viewer, and other tools and create a lab that from a STIG, uh, create a lab and then use your STIGs. Yeah. So this is this is something I talk about in the course that I did create. This course right here, I, I created based on a lot of people asking me the same questions over and over again about like, I don't have any experience. I'm trying to get into IT. I can see that it's blowing up. It's exploding. How can I get in the door? What do I need to do? So I made a free course. This is absolutely free. You go to combo courses, go to all courses, and then you'll find a course called let me see if I, I can't even find my own course this is pretty ridiculous right now but it's a free course that i can't find right now on my site yeah i can't find it <laughs> wow that's amazing so it's on my site i'll make sure it's there it's a free course that walks you through how to actually go about 
what do you learn? What are the steps? What are the things you need to learn as a cybersecurity person? How can you actually get the experience? Where do you go to get the experience? Where do you go to get the experience? That's what it's telling you about. I don't know why I can't find, like, hold on a second. This is irritating me. I apologize. Where, okay, here it is right here. It was right in front of me the whole time. I apologize, guys. I'm, wow, this is a longer session. So this is taking its toll on me, as you can see. Anyway, so here's the course right here. This is free. This is a security, cybersecurity entry level. Where do you start? Where do I start? How do I even get started with this? I have no experience. I work in insurance sales. I'm a janitor. I'm a bank teller. I work in the hospital. I'm a CNA. I'm a domestic helper. Like, I don't know where to even start. Like, what do I do? This right here is walking you through. Like, what do you need to know? What kind of courses would I recommend? What kind of certifications do you need to? I'm a beginner. Where do I go from here? Okay, I'm an IT geek. I know how to put computers together and tear them apart. I'm so into computers. Where do I go from here? Okay, I'm an IT professional. I want to get into cybersecurity. Well, see, these are all levels. You first you need a beginner. And you're going to do things like Wayne said, which is to build your own lab. You're going to create a lab for yourself to start learning from scratch, right? Now, that's not qualified as experience, but it gets you to where you understand what the IT mean. What is information technology? How does it work together? How do networks work? How do I fix things? What are, what's troubleshooting? How do I do that, right? You get what's your appetite to actually know this stuff as you're, you're studying. It tells you, what do you study? That's what this first part teaches you. And then it goes into, okay, I've done this. I've put together my own computer. I've put together my own network, right? Now I know the stuff. I've taken a couple courses maybe. Now I'm officially an IT geek. Where do I go from here? How do I actually get a position as a security person, as a cybersecurity person? How do I get a position as an IT professional? That's what I'm talking about, right? So that's the things that I that I walk you through. And then I talk about some of the components of information system. I talk about basic networking that you need to know. I don't go super deep. I just tell you, here's what you kind of need to know as a cybersecurity person. If you want to go deeper, go over here. Here's some resources for you and then best practices as a cybersecurity person this is where you want to start if you really have no idea if you even want to do this right because sometimes you get excited because the money or whatever this right here will let you know if you even want to do it 